Hello everyone and welcome to another video from our channel, Who Died Today, America. In this video, we will be bringing you a list of famous celebrities who have passed away today, June 28th and in the last few days. Additionally, we have some tributes planned for the second part of the video, so please stay tuned. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to show your love and support by giving this video a like. Number 12. British director Malcolm Mowbray, celebrated for his unique blend of dark comedy and poignant storytelling, passed away on June 23, 2023, at the age of 74. Best known for directing the BAFTA-winning feature A Private Function, which he also co-wrote, Mowbray's body of work encompassed both cinema and television. His 1984 film A Private Function, featuring an ensemble cast that included Maggie Smith, Michael Palin and Richard Griffiths, remains a classic portrayal of post-war English society. His other noteworthy works, Out Cold, The Boyfriend School, The Revengers Comedies and Meeting Spencer, were marked by Mowbray's distinctive wit and irony. Mowbray also directed successful television series including Once Upon a Time in the North, Crocodile Shoes, Mystery, Cadful, and Pie in the Sky. After his final feature, Meeting Spencer, in 2011, Mowbray turned his attention to academia, serving as the head of directing at the Northern Film School Leeds from 2016 until his passing. Malcolm Mowbray's legacy will continue to influence future filmmakers and audiences alike, cementing his place as a distinctive voice in British comedy. Number 11. Nicholas Koster, one of daytime television's most enduring and beloved figures, passed away in Florida on June 26, 2023, at the age of 89. Known for his depth and versatility, Koster's prolific career spanned multiple soap operas and demonstrated an unrelenting passion for his craft. Most remembered for his role as Lionel Lockridge in Santa Barbara, Koster graced several other soaps, including Somerset, Another World, One Life to Live, All My Children, and As the World Turns. His recent performance in the streaming series The Bay proved that his talent remained undiminished, earning him a Daytime Emmy in 2017 for Outstanding Supporting or Guest Performer in a Digital Drama Series. Koster's range extended beyond soap operas to film and television, with roles in critically acclaimed projects like All the President's Men, Reds, The Electric Horseman, Wonder Woman, Buck Rogers in the 21st Century, T.J. Hooker, and Star Trek The Next Generation. Remembered as an actor's actor by his daughter Deneen Koster, Nicholas was as much a loving father as he was a consummate professional. His legacy, a rich tapestry of dramatic performances and an enduring influence on daytime television, will continue to inspire the world of entertainment for years to come. Number 10. Peg Yorkin, a prominent feminist leader, activist, and philanthropist who co-founded the Feminist Majority Foundation, passed away on June 25, 2023, at the age of 96. Known for her tireless advocacy for women's equality, reproductive health, and non-violence, Yorkin channeled both her personal wealth and unyielding determination into these causes. A cornerstone of Yorkin's legacy, was her pivotal role in pushing for the introduction of Mifepristone, an abortion medication, in the United States. After years of tireless campaigning, the drug was approved in 2000, making safe termination of pregnancy accessible to over 5 million people. Yorkin's landmark $10 million donation to the Feminist Majority Foundation in 1991, half of which was allocated to making Mifepristone available in the U.S., underscored her unwavering commitment to reproductive rights. Beyond her work in the medical field, Yorkin's Feminization of Power campaign sought to increase the representation of women in political offices. Through her philanthropic efforts and the events she produced, Yorkin amplified the visibility and progression of feminist issues. She is survived by her two children, Nicole and David, both television writers and four grandchildren. Peg Yorkin's life story serves as an inspiration, a testament to her steadfast dedication to women's empowerment and equality. Number 9. 
Lena Korkutis, a world-renowned expert in cryo-electron microscopy and beloved associate professor at Cornell School of Applied and Engineering Physics, has passed away at the age of 44 on June 24, 2023, following a courageous two-year battle with colon cancer. Her trailblazing work in the field has carved paths for vital advancements in technology and research. Korkutis's exceptional teaching and research earned her numerous honors, including the Dorothy and Fred Chow Excellence in Teaching Award in 2017, a Cornell Engineering Research Excellence Award in 2021, and a Kanan Family Award for Excellence in Academic Advising in 2022. A graduate of the University of Rostock, Korkutis arrived in Ithaca to pursue her PhD in Applied Physics at Cornell, which she earned in 2009. After a stint at the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry in Germany, she returned to Cornell as a faculty member in 2013. Her groundbreaking work in cryo-electron microscopy for materials has been a game-changer in the field. Her pioneering methods, which allow for high-resolution and variable temperature examination of the physical, electronic and atomic structure of materials, have revolutionized the field. Beyond her scientific achievements, Kirkutis was an inspiring mentor, leaving an indelible impact on her students. Number 8. Dr. Juha Hernes Nimi, an esteemed Finnish neurosurgeon known for his medical expertise and humanitarian efforts, passed away at the age of 75 on June 26, 2023. His international legacy extends far beyond Finland's borders. After earning his doctorate from the University of Helsinki in 1979, Dr. Hernes Nimi served as a professor of neurosurgery at the same institution and chief physician at the neurosurgery clinic at Tulo Hospital, Helsinki. Post-retirement, he continued his work across the globe, lending his expertise in Peru, Indonesia, China, Nepal, and the United States. Among his many accolades, he received the Max Okerblom Award from the Finnish Medical Association in 2015. Dr. Hernes Niemi was renowned for his patient-centered care and surgical courses, which attracted surgeons worldwide eager to learn from his vast experience. His life's work and devotion to global medical education will continue to influence and inspire future generations in the medical field. Number 7. Paul de Seneville, the respected music producer and influential game developer, passed away on June 23, 2023, at the age of 89. De Seneville's contributions to the music and gaming industry have been profound and enduring. He co-founded the French record company Delphine Records in 1974, then branched out into gaming with the establishment of Delphine Software International in 1988. With the guidance of Paul Cuisset, DSI created renowned titles such as Another World, Flashback and Shaq Fu. In 1993, de Seneville added another feather to his cap by co-founding Adeline Software International, which produced the popular Little Big Adventure series. But his reach extended beyond gaming. A prolific music composer, de Seneville and Olivier Toussaint crafted music for artists such as Richard Claderman and for film, leaving a substantial mark on the music industry. Paul de Seneville's impact on both music and video gaming will continue to inspire and resonate for years to come. Number 6. Richard Ravage, an undaunted developer and public servant who played a pivotal role in pulling New York City from the brink of bankruptcy, passed away on June 26, 2023, at the age of 89 in Manhattan. His wife Kathleen M. Doyle confirmed the loss. Though he never held elected office, Ravitch left a lasting imprint on governance at all levels. Amid the fiscal chaos of 1975, he was instrumental in rescuing the Urban Development Corporation and the city's dwindling municipal coffers. Later, as the chairman of the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, his ingenious revenue-generating initiatives revitalized the city's mass transit system. His legacy also extended to New York's physical landscape with significant residential projects such as Waterside and Manhattan Plaza bearing his name. A champion of progressive causes, Ravitch's career exemplified his belief in the critical interplay between politics and good governance, a philosophy he encapsulated in his 2014 memoir. 
Embodying a spirit of selflessness and dedication to public service, Ravitch's work distinguished him as a pragmatic problem solver and relentless advocate for fiscal responsibility. His enduring influence on the city he loved will resonate long after his passing. Number 5. Tony Buza, former Minneapolis police chief, passed away on June 26, 2023, at the age of 94, leaving behind a legacy of staunch dedication and transformative reform in law enforcement. Buza's ascent from the hustle of New York City to Minneapolis police chief in 1980 spanned a career dedicated to improving the quality, efficiency, and integrity of policing. His nine years at the helm of the Minneapolis Police Department were marked by impactful reform and lasting influence, deeply impressing current MPD Chief Brian O'Hara. Buza's legacy, one of unwavering pursuit of justice, will continue to inspire change within the law enforcement community. His commitment to service and reform, coupled with his courage and determination, offers a powerful model for future generations of law enforcement. Number 4. Cora Cohen, the celebrated American artist renowned for her contributions to abstract paintings, passed away on June 22, 2023, at the age of 79. Cohen's diverse repertoire, encompassing paintings, drawings, photographs, and altered x-rays, secures her place in the annals of American abstraction. Critic Barry Schwabsky once described her as one of New York's most underappreciated painters, acknowledging her unwavering commitment to stylistic unpredictability. Cohen's artistic journey, shaped by her early education at the High School of Music and Art and Bennington College, truly kicked off in 1974 when her first solo museum exhibition was held at the Everson Museum of Art. She began exhibiting in New York from 1976 and expanded her reach to Europe in the 90s. In recent years, her work has graced numerous group exhibitions domestically and internationally. Her remarkable talent was recognized with awards like the John Simon Guggenheim Memorial Foundation Fellowship in 2013. Cora Cohen's vibrant and compelling body of work continues to encapsulate the ever-evolving essence of abstraction. Number 3. Renowned Israeli political figure Ronan Gissin, remembered for his role as the assertive spokesman for former Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon, passed away at the age of 74 on June 26, 2023. Gissin's iconic voice and commanding presence made him a formidable force in Israeli and global politics. Fluent in English and holding degrees from Hebrew University Jerusalem and Syracuse University, Gissin's expertise in political science, broadcast journalism, and public administration made him an authoritative voice on matters related to the Arab-Israeli conflict, security, and peace. Gissin's tenure with Ariel Sharon began in 1996 and spanned some of Israel's most turbulent political times, including the Gaza disengagement. His astute communication skills played a pivotal role in explaining and defending the government's decisions to both the Israeli public and the international community. Post his tenure, Gissin continued to support Sharon publicly, while also working as a consultant, strategist, commentator, and lecturer on Middle East-related topics. His passionate contributions to Israeli politics and global political communication will be remembered. He is survived by his wife, Hagar, two sons, grandchildren, and a brother. Now it's time to remember the legends who passed away in the past years. Number two, Marlon Briscoe, a trailblazing black quarterback who challenged racial stereotypes in American football in the late 1960s, passed away at the age of 76 on June 27, 2022, from pneumonia. Known as the magician, Briscoe made history in 1968 by becoming the first black quarterback to start in the Super Bowl era. As a rookie with the Denver Broncos, he showcased his exceptional talent by throwing 14 touchdowns and running for 308 yards and three scores. Despite enduring racial bias, Briscoe adapted and transitioned to wide receiver with the Buffalo Bills, later earning two Super Bowl rings with the Miami Dolphins. His tenacity and skills laid a groundwork for future generations of black athletes in American football, with Doug Williams, 
the first black quarterback to start and win a Super Bowl, describing Briscoe as a predecessor to today's black quarterbacks. Briscoe's career is a testament to his grit, fortitude and pioneering spirit. Number one, renowned composer Johnny Mandel, who blessed the world with the iconic MASH theme, passed away at 94 on June 27, 2020. With memorable hits like The Shadow of Your Smile and Emily, Mandel made an indelible contribution to 20th century music. His elegant orchestral charts can be found in works with artists like Frank Sinatra, Barbara Streisand, and Michael Jackson. Mandel scored over 30 films and earned an Oscar and a Grammy for The Shadow of Your Smile from The Sandpiper. The haunting melody of Suicide is Painless, composed for M.A.S.H., went on to become the theme for the popular TV series. With a musical journey that began in his early teens and led to recognition from the American Society of Music Arrangers and Composers, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the National Endowment for the Arts, Mandel's musical legacy will forever echo in the annals of music history. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.